हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट ब्रेस्ट एब्सिस ब्रेस्ट एब्सिस इज मेनली सीन इन स्टाफाइलोकोकल इन्फेक्शंस here in staphylococcal infections patient present with here there is a breast abscess is present that is in the breast there is an abscess is formed in the breast now this breast abscess will present the patient presents with point tenderness will be seen with erythema and also hyperthermia or fever is seen in the patient actually this will most commonly occurs within first few weeks of a uh, breast feeding why because actually this breast abscess the causative organism of uh, this breast abscess is staphylococcus aureus so this staphylococcus aureus is mainly transmitted by the mouth of the infants it is transmitted by the suckling neonate now this staphylococcal infections can give rise to two types of issues so the staphylococcal infections can either cause a localized infection localized breast abscess and this staphylococcal infection is gives such a localized um, breast abscess and it is situated deep inside the breast tissue okay and we have one more organism which is streptococcus this streptococcus can also cause the breast infection but that is mastitis but this streptococcal infection is mainly diffuse and it is superficial infection so mostly if you were if you see the breast abscess it is most commonly caused by staphylococcal aureus then diagnosis of the breast abscess in the breast abscess diagnosis we can do a pre operative ultra pre operative ultrasonography is done in the patient and this will delineate or tell us about the or it will assess the extent of the lesion can be assessed by this pre operative ultrasonography then treatment of the breast abscess in the treatment we can do local wound care is important this local wound care is done by application of warm compresses uh, can be applied over the abscess and we can also administer the iv antibiotics like penicillins or cephalosporins can be administered to the patient then drainage procedure is also important now in the drainage procedure it is this drainage procedure is best understood or this is best done by putting a circum areolar incision is put and these a via a circum areolar incision or we can also put an incision which is parallel to the langer hans lines an incision is put either via the circum areolar incision or if it is at, at the incision which is parallel to the langer hand a langer hand langer lines or langer lines now sometimes we can also advise the patient to undergo biopsy of the abscess cavity biopsy of biopsy of the abscess cavity wall is necessary especially at the time of incision and drainage why because in this is mainly done to prevent this is mainly done to prevent the underlying breast carcinoma if any if there is any breast cancer or with necrotic tumor in such cases in order to prevent this we ask the patient to undergo biopsy of the cavity wall at the time of incision and drainage so we give a circum areolar incision around the areola or we can also give an incision which is parallel to the langer's lines langer's lines are along the skin developmental line so incision along the langer's lines no most of the cases heals without any scar thank you and thank you for watching